Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm doing kind of an interesting let's look at. Uh, I'm actually looking at my first mobile game. So I do need to kind of give the disclaimer that I am running this on a virtual machine running the Android OS on my PC. So I can't do things like multi-tap, but I can still play this game. And I did try this game out on an iPad, I just didn't have a way to record it from the iPad. So I can kind of uh, describe to you how the controls would really work. But as you can see, this is a game called Moonboying, and it is by Space Hat Studios. Uh, Space Hat Games. Sorry about that. And it is available on iOS already, and it is coming out on the Android markets on the 22nd, which should be tomorrow when this video goes up. So, I'm just going to kind of jump in and show you the first few levels here. And if I didn't mention, I believe the game is only like a dollar or two. And on iOS it has a demo as well. So we get kind of these uh, comic book style panels to tell us the story. And then we will be able to jump right into the game here. Alright, so, here, here's kind of what I need to talk about. So, with multi-tap, you can actually choose to uh, choose your direction. You can change your direction while boosting, and I can't do that quite as easily because I have to do everything with the mouse. But, basically what this game is, is we get to boost around in our little jetpack, Sorry for, for any, like, jittering as well on the screen. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, I can assure you that any kind of weird gra uh, graphical glitches or anything are strictly because I'm running this on a virtual machine. I played it for about half an hour on, um, on my iPad and had no problems with anything. So... And that is, uh, that's pretty much how the game works. And each level is going to work like that. So we get a star for finishing, a star for getting all of the orbs, and a star for beating the level in under whatever, you know, X amount of bounces for that level. <coughs> okay, so then we've got a space telegram sent in March of 1969. Ground control to visitor one. We can see the head from Earth. Imagine what we can learn if you reach it, but please be careful. So pretty much what, what's going on here is that we are attempting to get to that head. And again, I do need to stress that the jittering and the black screen flashes, if those are showing up in the video, those are um, not in the actual mobile version. That's just... Uh, an issue with this virtual machine. <clears throat> I've actually got to say, like, I don't typically play many mobile games, so I was actually pleasantly surprised by this one. And um, this game is running in the Unity engine, which probably has a lot to do with it, because anyone who's who's played anything done in the Unity engine knows that. It is, uh, it's really good, especially if you're handling physics kind of stuff. So the physics in this feels really good. <clears throat> um, Art-wise, it's not really like my kind of art as far as games go, but I do have to say like it looks better than I expected actually for like a 3D mobile game. And I don't know if that's just because I don't play a lot of mobile games, but... I think it looks pretty good. Uh, kind of reminds me of like N64 of, or like um, maybe PlayStation 1 era of like 3D graphics. <coughs> so you know I've got kind of a soft spot for that kind of stuff. Uh, the sound is pretty good. 
it's it's a little sparse and it's, it's got I think only really the one music track but that's okay uh, I'm not sure like how many total levels there are I you know I can go back to the menu and check I think there were like 25 on this page but if I remember right it didn't actually let me oh no so that's like that's the kind of stuff that is way way easier to do on an actual tablet or phone um, oh no just because uh, I, I have to use the mouse to simulate my finger, basically, which is uh, just as awkward as that sounds. <clears throat> but as I said before, the controls are not awkward on the actual device this is meant to be played on, so no worries about that. Oh no, I thought maybe I could grab onto it. Well, maybe I'm just going to have to uh, skip getting the orbs. <clears throat> That's pretty much what i found so far, is that because of my kind of controller woes here, I have to skip the orbs. But, I mean, you know, there's not too much more to really show of it. You know, maybe I can try and do another level or two. But I think when I was playing earlier um, on iPad, I think we are probably getting about to the point where I won't really be able to do it without being able to rotate and boost. Just because some of the jumps we have to make start to get a little crazy. But... I am going to uh, probably start kind of wrapping up my thoughts here. I don't think this this look at the game needs to be too terribly long. Yeah, this is like the first level I can think of that is potentially going to be a problem. Okay. Okay. Can I make it? Oh, I did. I did. Oh, man. I am a pro. Who needs multi-tap anyways? Whoa, oh, the head just got a body. Alright, so another message. Please respond, energy pulse knocked out our telescopes. Can you hear me, visitor one? So I will, I mean, I'll try this level. Chances are I will not be able to beat it. Um just because of, like I said, the, con the controls that I have to deal with that you will not have to deal with. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if you, you know, if you have a, an iPhone or I guess now if you have an Android phone, because it is coming out on the Android market tomorrow. Um, and I, I think, I mean, that, yeah, that covers a lot of phones. Um, but also like an iPad, if you've got an iPad, it works on that, obviously. Uh, and I think if, if you do have one of those, at least on iOS, give the, dem give the uh, demo a download. I don't know if there will be a demo on the Android store as well. I'm wondering if those rocks change anything. I don't know. Um... But really, I mean, like, for $2, this is this is a pretty good game. I'm having a good time with it. And, I mean, since I do have it on the iPad, I may end up playing it some more. It's, uh, I mean, it's kind of a good one for just kind of casual, like, play a couple levels at a time kind of gameplay. And obviously, like, I'm rushing through these because I'm not even going for the orbs right now, just because I don't have the kind of control necessary to get them. But the orbs do make things quite a bit more difficult. So I think I will try this one more level and uh, probably call it quits. But yeah, I mean, I think 
for a mobile game, this is really, really well done. And I don't mean to, like, say that mobile games can't be. I just don't really often play mobile games, so this is a little bit of a new experience for me, and that's, that's fun. Whoa! Oh no! Oh, saved it. Okay, just gotta get turned around here. And can I make it? Yeah! Alright. But yeah, I mean, it, it's two dollars. I, I don't really think you can go wrong with with picking this up for two dollars. It feels nice. Uh, there's... I, I would imagine there's quite a bit of content. Let me go back and see if it'll actually let me check. Okay, so I've got 22 stars out of 120, so... That's, um... I mean, what, that, that's 40 levels at 3 stars a level? So, that's uh, that's pretty good for $2. I could see you getting a couple hours of, of playtime out of this. And as far as, as far as mobile games go, I think this is one that is uh, definitely worth it. So, I'm going to uh, kind of leave it there. This game does get a recommendation from me as a game that you should pick up. Uh, you know, if you have a device that can play it on, go check it out. If you have iOS, go check it out now, and if you have Android, check it out tomorrow. So, feel free to leave comments if there's anything that you'd like to comment on. Uh, specifically, if you would like to see me try and cover more mobile games, because I can fiddle around and see if I may be able to cover them with a little better control over stuff like multi-tap than this. But this is kind of the solution I've got for right now. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see more mobile game style Let's Look at. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more of my videos every single day. And if you liked this Let's Look at, or if you liked this game, please consider clicking the like button, because that could help me out a lot, and I appreciate everything that you do to help. So with all of that being said, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.